Hey guys, it's Kevin with Earth 2 Mastery, and tonight we try to take over the world. All right, so grab your uh, soy sauce, I guess. We don't want to miss anything going on tonight. I'm going to tell you why Earth2.io is going to 245x. All right, first things first, I've got my discount code in the description down below. Please use that if you are planning on making any new tile purchases and help keep my channel going. Um, here we are. Oh, and if you do use it, leave a comment down below and you're subscribed to the channel. You will be entered to win the next tile giveaway that I do. I have a winner from last night's video and I'll announce that at the end of the video today. So stick around for that. Now, I've told you multiple times why I think that uh, Roblox, Minecraft, um, any kind of interactive game has really paved the way for the metaverse that will be Earth 2. The reason I think Roblox is such a good example of what this game will be is in the description of Roblox itself. So look at it. Roblox is an online gaming platform and game creation system that allows users to program games and play games created by other users. Sound familiar? Founded by David Bazuki and Aaron Castle in 2004 and released in 2006. Uh, so the game now is about 15 years old as far as we're concerned. The platform hosts user-created games of multiple genres coded in the programming language Lua. Okay, so basically you or I can download Roblox Creator right now and or Roblox Studio, whatever they call it. We can start making our own game. They've got tools there where you can uh, drag and drop. You can, you've got different functionalities based on different tools inside that creator. They've even got a Roblox... Uh, Premium Creator Studio, I think they call it, Premium Studio or Premium Creator, where you can go in and you can make clothes for the avatars and sell them. You can make items like my son uh, likes to watch Dennis Daly, so he's got the little cat that rides around on his shoulder from Dennis Daly. I think his name is Sir Meowzalot. Um, so he loves that cat and now he's able to buy it in Roblox with Robux. So this is the future that I see for Earth 2. You're going to be able to go and play in people's games that they create on their own tile. So you'll be able to walk around a city and go, oh, what's that game in there? Or uh, what kind of attraction is in there? What kind of video is playing in there? And you're gonna be able to walk into those areas. Uh, so instead of going to an interface like Roblox has where you just type in a search term and then you click on it, you're gonna be able to walk around the world and see what kind of attractions there are and just wander in or walk in and start playing. Inside each of these games, the creators are able to have certain uh, premium areas or premium items that they sell for Robux in the game. Uh, so the Robux, uh, you know, we were talking about having a cryptocurrency in the game, whether it's Essence, whether it's the Earth $2, or whether they just leave it the E dollar that they are showing right now. You should be able to purchase uh, special items in each event uh, at other people's games or at their creations. Like, for instance, let's say there's a 3D movie playing. Um, but you have to have 3D glasses in the game. To, so you can go in there and you can watch the movie just regular or you could go in there and you could purchase the 3D glasses for, uh, you know, half an essence or whatever, whatever the money is. And then you would be able to have the 3D uh, glasses and see the film in 3D. Or let's say you were in a paintball match. Uh, and you went in there and all you had was a regular paintball pistol and you could only load like 15 rounds at a time. But you go into the paintball match and you're willing to buy a premium item. Now you have a, a gun that can hold 50 rounds at a time or 150 rounds at a time or something like that where you get a premium uh, advantage for being willing to spend some of the money in there. Or maybe you walk into a clothing design store and you can outfit your avatar with your favorite uh, with your favorite items or your favorite creator's in, uh, merch. So basically like like the Dennis Daly example that I used earlier where my son has Sir Meowzalot on his shoulder, maybe you'd be able to go in there and get Sir Meowzalot on your avatar in Earth 2. Um, you know, or something like that. So it's very similar. The idea of where Roblox has already gone and where this is going to go are very similar in my opinion, except for the fact that instead of just having a, a PC interface, uh, in when we get to the VR stage, you're going to be able to just walk around the city and walk into events. Uh, there you're going to be able to create your own games. You're going to be able to uh, create your own attractions. You're going to be able to create your own avatar enhancements. Uh, so very similar to Roblox. Now let's move on to Roblox's valuation, if I can move myself out of here. So every time we're basically crowdfunding Earth 2, in my opinion, every time we buy land in Earth 2, we're putting a little bit of money towards the creation of the eventual games that will come from Earth 2. Whereas Roblox created the, uh, they created it initially, but now they're trying to go public at a later date. 
So every time that we put money in, we're adding value to Earth too. Right now, Roblox is raising capital based on a $29.5 billion valuation, a very large valuation. And I've seen calculations where people were estimating based on the number of tiles sold uh, and based on the number of users that were coming in each week that Earth 2 had brought in about $120 million so far. So I went over here and I took uh, $29.5 billion and I uh, divided by $120 million to see how many multiples at $120 million we would need to get to $29.5 billion valuation. And it's 245 times. So if you, are, if you were able to get into Bitcoin before it blew up and made 245 times your money, if you'd have put in $1,000, you'd make $245,000. So imagine right now, if you have a $5,000 net worth and Earth 2 actually multiplies by 245 times in value, uh, in addition to all of the resource income that you've had all the way along, in addition to all of the uh, game income or premium uh, membership income or whatever it is that you're able to do in the game to get income, your property, assuming it grew at the same rate as the valuation of Earth 2, would then be worth over a million dollars, about one point, uh, one and a quarter million dollars if it grew by 245 times. Uh, so, you know, this is potentially life changing. Like if you had owned $10,000 worth of Roblox uh, before they were trying to go public, uh, and then they're trying to, and then they go public at a twenty-nine and a half billion dollar uh, valuation. You're going to be able to make um, that would be two and a half million dollars, or close to two and a half million dollars off of a ten thousand dollar investment. So it's definitely life changing. You could take what is a minuscule amount of money and make enough to buy a car, or make enough to buy a house if you can somehow get a two hundred and forty-five x return. Now, just because the video game. Uh, would possibly be worth that much or probably more. I believe it would be worth more than Roblox, assuming that everything falls into line the way that it should. But uh, just because the video game grows at that type of evaluation, a lot of times valuations take into account future earnings and stuff like that. So it won't necessarily mean that our land translates exactly that way, but it's a good indication as to how much growth we can expect to see. Especially if people like my last video with Logan Paul buying in, if people like him start buying in, things will happen very rapidly. And all of that money coming in means that uh, they can do stuff in the game very rapidly as well. So, for instance, you know, uh, it used to take five or six years to make a vaccine. Now, whether, whether you like the vaccine or not, I, I don't really care. Uh, but it used to take five or six, maybe even 10 years to create a vaccine because that, of the limited amount of funds that were being poured into it. But with them making all this hoopla about COVID-19 last year, they threw millions and billions of dollars into creating a vaccine and they did it in a very rapid way. And that's what can happen if the game starts getting tons of money thrown in. In. Sure, right now it seems like VR is years off, but if all of a sudden they've got a billion dollars sitting around, it's a lot easier to hire the devs and buy the equipment that they need to get to that VR stage faster. So we absolutely want it to grow. Now, we don't want it to grow so fast that it breaks and scares off users, but we absolutely want it to grow at a rapid rate because the faster it grows, the more likely we are to get to our end goal and the quicker we are going to get there. Okay, so that's why I said it would be 245X is because I was comparing it to Roblox. Now, personally, I think it's going to be Roblox, Minecraft, YouTube, Amazon all rolled into one. So the sky is the limit. That was just a starting point for us to visualize. And the winner for last night's tile giveaway is Miguel Monzen. And uh, he said, will the game need a powerful computer to play? So my answer to that to him in the, in the comments, and I just want to repeat it to you guys, is that the devs have said that they want people to be able to play it on their consoles or play it on their phones. So I think there's going to be different levels of gameplay. Now, if you're in the VR mode, you're inside the world, yeah, it takes a pretty powerful computer or a pretty powerful headset. But if you're just walking around on your phone playing in the augmented reality, Clearly, our phones are a lot more powerful than uh, computers used to be uh, and are probably more powerful than some of the computers people are using, but that's not really that much uh, power that's behind those phones and they're able to use them to play in the augmented reality. And that's the dev's goal. And so I don't think you're going to be required to have a really fast computer because they've already specified that they want as many people to be able to play it as possible, which is why they don't want to stick completely to VR because they want a wide audience. And so not everybody has VR right now. They don't want to limit the people to having VR. So it wouldn't make sense for them to make it so that only powerful gaming computers could play when the whole reason for not going 100% into VR is to get that wide user base. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, Miguel, if you can PM me through uh, Discord 
or it looks like I froze there, but PM me through Discord or PM me through Facebook and we'll make sure that you are able to get that tile uh, on our property in Grenada. Okay, see you guys later.